Today I am going to teach uh, ICT tools for teaching and learning. Okay, uh, this is very important topic uh, nowadays. Uh, most of the teachers they have to adopt for the ICT in this present days. So, teaching and learning process we are doing with uh, ICT. So, what are the important uh, things are there in this ICT tools? Uh, now I will discuss. Uh, okay. uh, let us enter into the program so with this video i want to teach about uh, different topics uh, what is ict what is tpack fundamentals of computers and types of softwares pc related educational tools and pc related editing tools mobile educational tools and uh, mobile editing tools and uh, video conferencing apps or online classes or apps and also other tools like office tools and uh, how to create a video lessons with the mobile and uh, uh, google applications what are the google applications useful in our uh, online classes and next uh, mhrd initiatives these are the topics i will discuss with this video so don't skip the video please watch communication technology so here we are passing the information and uh, communication with the technology and in this uh, definition of ICT given here so ICT is an a generic term referring to technologies uh, which are being used for four things collecting sh uh, storing editing and sharing so with these four things the four things are very important one is collecting information storing information and editing information and sharing the information these four things we are doing with the help of technology so that is the ICT and next uh, ICT has become an integral part of today's teaching and learning process now I am talking about TPAC what is TPAC TPAC means a uh, T is a technology and a P that is the pedagogy and next C that is the content here uh, what we are doing in the TPAC so here we are using the technology for the pedagogy and content for the pedagogy con and content so in classical in olden days we are uh, teaching the content with the help of pedagogy but nowadays what we are doing we are teaching the content with the help of pedagogy and also with the technology that i am saying uh, in the tpac okay we are using the technology we are teaching the content and with the help of pedagogy so uh, you can uh, download the ict textbooks for student book and also teacher textbook uh, with the help of this uh, uh, link that is a troer.telangana.gov.in slash oer okay so open educational resource this is the telangana state open educational resource so th through this link you can download the uh, student textbook and also teacher textbook so first uh, we have to know about uh, computer so here you can see the black diagram of computer so what is the black diagram of computer here you can see the input unit and uh, you can see the output unit what is happening here we are sending the data to the input tools so in this input tools this input means uh, we are sending the information to the central processing unit central processing unit this is also called as cpu in this central processing unit uh, different other units are there so what are the three units present in the central processing unit so one is a storage unit one is control unit other one is a alu arithmetic logic unit so storage unit two types of storage are there one is primary storage another one is secondary storage and uh, next one is control unit it controls the information it controls the process 
and third one is arithmetic and logical unit arithmetic and logical operations are done by this alu and storage is done by the uh, su storage unit and controlling is done by the cu so whatever the data we are uh, giving to the computer that is a central processing unit with the help of input units or input devices so what will happen after and uh, after sending the information to the cpu cpu will process so after the processing in the cpu it will give output so that output we call as information data is converted as information okay so here we have to know about input and output so how to give input to the computer and how we will receive the output so that will uh, we will see in the next next uh, slides okay so in the computer two things are there one is a uh, hardware another one is software okay hardware means a uh, computer hardware is made up of cpu and peripherals so we already uh, know about cpu cpu consists three uh, sub units one is a uh, storage unit control unit and alu arithmetic and logical unit these are present in a device that is called cpu and also some peripherals are there so input devices and output devices are present uh, that total set uh, we call as hardware so hardware means instruments or devices and next uh, software what is software software is uh, instructions are programmed in a computer language and uh, translated to into machine language and executed by the computer so com uh, instrument cannot understand our language our native language or our uh, english or any other kind of language instrument can understand only machine language so here what software is doing so for the for the uh, for the functioning of instrument here software will help so software is a uh, understand the machine language with the help of machine language we are performing different functions with the computer okay that is the software so software means it is a machine language uh, it can translate the machine language so we can use the device with the help of software only so the instrument is hardware next hardware in the hardware two kind of things are there one is input devices and another another one is output devices input device uh, they are giving information or data to the cpu so okay so those we call as input device output device uh, what will get the information from the cpu that is the output device that will we can see with the output devices and next uh, input devices so you can see the input device these all are input devices uh, one is microphone so and a trackball webcam joystick scanner camera touch screen keyboard mouse these all are input devices uh, so with the help of these input devices we are giving uh, data to the cpu and next uh, output devices after the processing the output will get so the output will get through the output devices speakers will hear the sound monitor will watch the movie or video and uh, and uh, uh, headphones will listen uh, music any kind of music or voice and you can see plotter it is for uh, poster printing or uh, any kind of flex printing and projector it is also like a monitor and it is also useful for a uh, uh, projecting the screen and printer you can print so these all are output devices and next uh, so uh, types of softwares softwares are basically two types one is system software that is also called as operating system and uh, application software so generally you know windows linux uh, mac uh, uh, Re uh, macintosh red hat ubuntu android ios these all are operating systems and application softwares okay so application like youtube uh, whatsapp okay linkedin okay these all are application softwares okay uh, some gaming softwares are there they are also application softwares so and uh, 
softwares are two types based on uh, price issue or purchasing issue one is free softwares another one is a proprietary softwares free and open source softwares uh, that we call as foss fos free and open source softwares and uh, proprietary softwares two kind of thing, uh, softwares are there and uh, we have to know about the difference what is open source or free software and uh, proprietary software so open source software in this uh, uh, you can get open source software for free of charge will get free and user can modify the software we can uh, if if we have uh, programming lang uh, knowledge we can modify the software also and user can install software in any computer okay we can use in any computer no one is responsible for the software okay this software is a uh, uh, it is all it is a it is a property of all okay it, no one ha having the right on this software okay that is the open source or free software and what about the proprietary software proprietary software means a uh, user must pay to get the proprietary software we have to purchase this software from other uh, uh, other sources okay we have to purchase and user cannot modify the software we cannot modify this uh, software and also uh, user have have a license to use okay if you want to install in any computer we have license we have license okay um, without license we cannot use this uh, uh, software so that is a uh, uh, comes under piracy or illegal use okay so that is a, a difference between open source and uh, proprietary software and in this open source software okay you can see the software that is free to use and which provides original source code and use it to create its uh, uh, that uh, that advanced user can modify this software uh, for better use and uh, you can see uh, some examples like uh, open source software like uh, linux jimp uh, blender inkscape mozilla firefox open office k office these are uh, examples for in the open source software uh, here system software are open source software are there and uh, application software is also open source software are there so okay so system software they are useful for run the instrument or run the device run the computer okay but application software those are useful for the uh, to perform a specific function okay uh, that, that is about the application software if you want to do some drawing you can use the paint paint is one kind of uh, application software okay like that uh, and proprietary software it is a closed source software we have to purchase okay here ms office uh, microsoft office so we have to purchase uh, this uh, software from microsoft company and adobe adobe photoshop adobe flash coral uh, office uh, windows so these all are uh, uh, proprietary softwares we have to purchase uh, for the uh, for installing in our computer for use of our computer for use in our computer okay that is proprietary softwares and uh, let us about uh, pc related educational tools so we have computer and uh, uh, our computer want to use for the education purpose our children want to use for the education purpose in nowadays uh, most most of the students they are using the computer for learning okay so and here what are the tools are there for learning uh, different subjects okay so pc related tools i am explaining now so in this uh, fat stimulations geogebra stellarium marble calcium so let uh, let us look about these uh, tools first one fat simulations a project uh, at the university of colorado boulder and it is a non profit open educational resource project that creates and hosts the explorable explanations so fed simulations are very much attractive to the students so uh, what what are their in fest fed simulation fed simulations are uh, they are having different subjects uh, simulations are there these simulations 
like a physics, chemistry, biology, maths, uh, re re related simulations are there. So with the simulations, we can do different experiments which are related to different subjects like physics, chemistry, maths, biology. So he, here in simulations, uh, if, uh, we c some, some kind of uh, experiments we cannot do in our laboratory. Okay, some kind of uh, experiments we cannot do in our laboratory, but uh, we can do that kind of harmful experiments also we can do in FET simulations. So we can change the parameters uh, with the FET simulations. Okay, so uh, the concepts understanding is uh, much clear in the FET simulations. Uh, this FET simulation is available uh, with this link. I, I have already provided the uh, link uh, here. And uh, it is also available in the Android version. Uh, that is, uh, we have to pay from the Google Play Store. Uh, that is 65 rupees. It is available in the Google Play Store. And next, uh, GeoGebra. It is a very effective geometry and algebra statistics calculus application. So we can. It is a uh, very good for uh, learning maths. It is very good uh, to the students to learn maths uh, very deeply. This GeoGebra tool is a. Uh, it is a uh, uh, useful for primary school children to university level children. Okay, university level students. Okay, so that's much effective tool that is GeoGebra. So you can uh, download this GeoGebra from this link. I have uh, provided a link here. So it is uh, available in all platforms as a free version. So uh, I'm what I'm showing here. Most of the tools are uh, freely available. Uh, they are uh, free and open source softwares. I'm introducing to you. Okay, uh, FET simulations. They are available in online and also uh, we can uh, install in offline also. Uh, okay, and uh, GeoGebra also available in all platforms like uh, Android, iOS, uh, uh, for uh, Windows and. Uh, uh, Linux it is available to uh, in a uh, uh, every platform and with this GeoGebra what we can do with the GeoGebra we can do um, points vectors segments lines polygons conic sections and uh, inequalities implex polynomials and functions these uh, these these kind of uh, uh, things we can done with the GeoGebra and next one is a uh, marble it is a very much effective tool and we, it is very much useful for uh, geography uh, teachers or geography learning students. Marble is a virtual globe application. It is a free software developed by the KDE uh, for use of personal computers and also smartphones. Okay, so we can download with this link. So it's a globe. So uh, we can identify different countries uh, and uh, uh, different places uh, in the globe is a very effective uh, for for teaching and also learning and next one is the stellarium stellarium is a it is a open source and free software it is a, a planetarium planetarium software okay we can see different planets so we can see different uh, uh, stars or different things uh, which are happening in the uh, universe like uh, eclipse uh, okay solar eclipse or uh, lunar eclipse those kind of things so we can learn with the stellarium we can uh, show to the students with this uh, uh, planetarium software that is a stellarium it is also available in all platforms like linux windows mac os okay it is available in android with the 230 rupees uh, charge okay uh, and uh, and it, it gives a realistic projection of a night sky uh, in real time okay so we can uh, feel a real time experience with this application that is the stellarium we can download with this link and uh, next one is calcium is an application that uses uh, a periodic table of the elements so how many elements are present in periodic table those elements uh, characteristics we can learn with this uh, calcium application or calcium tool so uh, here in this calcium uh, 
triple one el chemical elements are there and their mass charge image and uh, the discovery and their chemical properties and their uh, uh, electronic configuration and electronegativity atomic radii all the properties uh, we can uh, learn with this calcium it is also, it is we can download with this link and uh, and uh, it is available freely in ubuntu and the next pc related editing tools so in the learning or in the teaching activity we have to edit some uh, images or videos or audios so for that purpose we require editing tools so image editing tools are there video editing tools are there audio editing tools are there so these are uh, i'm uh, here uh, uh, here i am showing some free tools one is a jimp jimp is image editing tool for pc okay so this jimp is like a photoshop okay photoshop is a proprietary software jimp is a free and open source software so jimp that is j n g n u image manipulation program that is called jimp it is a free and open source editor used for image retouching and editing so we can create amazing images with this jimp software and a free form drawing and converting bit between different image formats it is also available freely for all platforms you can download with this link this is a work area of a uh, gym and uh, next one is vid video editing tool for pc so this is a very amazing and excellent video editing tool that is a kden live so kden live this is uh, also called KDE Non-Linear Video Editor KDE Non-Linear Video Editor This is a simply called as Kden Live It is a free and open source video editing software So it supports to all video formats uh, Any kind of video formats it supports Like MP3 uh, Like uh, MP4 And uh, different other uh, uh, others, uh, formats are there in the video uh, system Okay so all formats uh, supports the kden live and uh, we can do amazing things with the uh, kden live we can it is it's having multi tracking editing and timeliner and uh, different editing uh, features are there video editing features are there in kden live so title editor tools uh, create move crop delete video and video clips audio clips uh, text clips and imaging clips uh, we can add and we can delete uh, we can modify and uh, we can do custom effects or also translations also so those are amazing things we can do with the kden live it is also freely available uh, in all platforms like windows uh, ubuntu and uh, next uh, we can download with this link and uh, this is a work area uh, uh, we can in a uh, educational purpose uh, teachers can edit their uh, videos with this help of with this with the help of this tool okay next uh, audacity audacity is a, a very good effective audio editor you can also record the audio with this software audacity you can download this link and this is the work area we can do uh, many changes in the audio we can record the audio we can amplify the audio we can change the echoes also with this audacity so amazing audio editing tool and next uh, uh, this is a obs open broadcaster software if you want to do streaming streaming means i'm teaching a video lesson this video lesson it is a i want to stream in facebook or in uh, youtube or in any uh, social media like it, it, this uh, lesson have to be broadcast in, in a live format in a live form okay so that's a uh, uh, for that purpose uh, we need one broadcaster software that is a open broadcaster software that is simply called obs with the help of obs we can do streaming and recording program now i am recording the program uh, this uh, video uh, or this uh, class what i am uh, teaching now this i am recording with the help of obs only okay this is a very good okay very good uh, uh, software 
for the broadcasting purpose and also recording purpose okay here recording and live streaming we can do here yeah, this is a, a functioning based on rtmp rtmp means a real real time messaging protocol most of the social media like youtube instagram facebook they are wo, they are uh, functioning on rtmp that is a real time uh, messaging protocol okay so that's why uh, with the help of this obs we can do capturing sc screen composing encoding and recording and broadcasting we can do with the uh, obs so that is a uh, very good for live streaming and recording and next uh, mobile educational apps okay uh, the mo uh, nowadays uh, mobile is a very much uh, instrument very much a using device or very much uh, available device to the students or also uh, parents or uh, teachers or any kind of person uh, it is available in a, uh, in every hands okay so next uh, uh, these educational apps uh, mostly you can see in google play store okay they are available in one source that is called google play store so now i am telling different educational apps which are available in google play store let us look at about uh, look about the those uh, educational apps uh, like uh, first one is the diksha e patshala khan academy and uh, mel chemistry o labs human body vr 3d and e bird plant snap skylight uh, skyview light so these are the educational purpose uh, uh, using useful apps now uh, first we will discuss about uh, diksha diksha it 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 uh, offers uh, uh, some material and uh, some videos to the uh, teachers students and parents okay how this diksha will helpful to uh, teachers students and parents now uh, i will tell so this diksha app consisting different lesson plans worksheets and activities these uh, lesson plans worksheets activities uh, they are helpful for the teachers and now uh, concepts if a student uh, unable student uh, did not understand in classroom so what he will do he will go to the diksha app he will refer some concepts uh, in textbook and uh, revise the lesson and uh, practice the exercises in diksha app. and a uh, parent what a parent will know from the diksha app so where the subject portion is there okay where it is there and a uh, uh, classroom activities what kind of uh, activities are going on in classrooms and uh, what are the doubts a student will play, uh, will get in, in the uh, home so those are classified uh, those are clarified by the parents with the help of uh, diksha app and uh, you know scan qr codes scan qr codes means a uh, qr code scanning in, in nowadays uh, in uh, telangana and ap uh, in most of the textbooks they are having uh, qr codes so if you scan the qr code the related video will the related information or video uh, will appear with a uh, one website okay so that is a uh, use of qr codes uh, which are available in textbooks and next uh, app is e patshala the digital india campaign has promoted extensive use of ict in the teaching and learning process okay so for promoting ict in teaching and learning process uh, the, this app developed by M mhrd okay mhrd government of india and ncrt has been developed this okay and uh, here what are the things are there in e patshala it is having e resources like uh, textbooks audio video periodicals and uh, other digital resources are present in the e patshala app okay. so this is also very much a useful app and uh, in this e patshala uh, you can uh, read textbooks okay so mostly uh, we cannot uh, carry the uh, many books from one place to another place uh, okay this e parts are having many uh, textbooks uh, uh, 
and it is a in this uh, e part shala we can pinch and we can select and we can zoom it and uh, bookmark highlight and navigate the share and listen to text uh, that is a tta tts that is a listen to text using text to speech that so we can listen in the form of audio that uh, text uh, we can listen in the form of audio also that is also very much effective and very much useful um, uh, feature is there in this e-part shala okay so that is a uh, e-part shala and next uh, can academy can academy you can study maths science and uh, uh, like uh, other subjects like economics also with the can academy mostly this can academy is very much effective for maths and science and uh, nearly this app consists of 10000 videos and explanations maths science and uh, uh, related ncrt cbsc syllabus related videos are there and uh, in this maths uh, arithmetic uh, pre algebra algebra geometry trigonometry statistics calculus linear algebra all type of uh, topics uh, uh, related videos and video lessons so we can see through can academy and in science category biology chemistry physics uh, economics and uh, more uh, more topics uh, we may see in uh, science and economics okay so th this this is very much helpful for different exams like uh, board exams or cat uh, gmat uh, iit j okay uh, and we can see the some quizzes and uh, unit tests also in the can academy app and next mel chemistry by mel science so this is uh, a here amazing experiments so amazing experiments you can teach with this app okay so we can visualize the molecules in 3d form okay most of the chemical molecules so uh, uh, we don't know in 3d form so that kind of molecules also we can see with the mel chemistry so some experiments also we cannot perform in laboratory or we cannot perform in uh, in our home so those uh, experiments also we can do with the uh, app virtually and next uh, o labs online labs online labs are o labs app uh, for school lab experiments uh, mostly it consists of physics chemistry biology maths uh, and english experiments are also in this o labs so here we can do theory procedure and uh, animation video and uh, simulation assessment okay and reference materials also we can see in the o labs so animation mode can be used by the teacher and uh, simulation mode can be used by student okay this animation mode useful for the teaching purpose and simulation mode it is uh, for practice purpose okay it is used by the student next uh, human body vr 3d so this is a human body uh, animation and uh, with the help of animation animation we can see the human body what are the uh, different systems present in the human body we can watch this uh, human body vr 3d okay uh, with the vr we can feel the uh, v v virtual reality virtual reality also we can do we can uh, feel with this app and next e bird online database of bird observations so here uh, in the e bird online database is there the birds uh, which are present uh, in the entire world most of the bird watchers or researchers uh, scientists uh, they are depositing the information in the in this e bird website or e bird application okay so we will get the information about different birds in this uh, uh, app okay bird distribution and abundance and their nature so we will get the information with this e bird app next uh, plant snap so uh, mostly we can uh, many uh, plants we don't know in our day to day life we want to know about uh, name of uh, different plants so for that purpose uh, this plant snap is very much helpful so this plant snap uh, it can identify 90% of all species of flowers leaves trees mushrooms succulents and cacti okay 
we can identify any kind of tree with this plant snap app okay so it is a it can translate the information it can translate the name or any character into 37 different languages okay so uh, we can if you snap that uh, uh, if you take the picture it can identify with the help of plant snap okay it is also very much effective for researchers and uh, uh, who are having interest on plant growth or who want to know about the plants okay. next is sky view so the sky view here uh, it is like a stellarium so we have seen in the uh, pc related tools stellarium so same kind of features we may see in a, a mobile that is sky view so we can identify galaxies stars constellations planets st satellites so this in this sky view uh, we can do the we can uh, keep the night mode also for preserving your night vision and uh, red or green night mode filters are also there so in this sky view we can see the augmented reality ar ar feature so for use your camera to spot the objects in the sky day or night okay it will uh, give the augmented reality okay so that is the very much useful in sky view next uh, mobile editing applications so some editing apps are also very much helpful for uh, teaching and learning process so next uh, in this uh, mostly we want to create some posters or some logos uh, or some uh, uh, some uh, like uh, some pamphlets or some posters we want to make uh, uh, in schools okay so for that purpose canva canva is a uh, one uh, effective poster making app and also poster maker also one app is there uh, i have not mentioned here uh, same canva features are also available in poster maker okay poster maker is also one app i am uh, suggesting canva okay uh, poster maker also very much helpful uh, app for creating posters we can also create social media posts also like uh, in uh, uh, instagram or facebook uh, or twitter so we, we have to post some posts like uh, posters we, we can create some posters with the help of this canva or poster maker uh, so it is also available in uh, android or ios uh, okay so next uh, image editing apps so here i am I'm, I'm giving uh, some image editing apps uh, so i'm suggesting some apps here pixart it is for image editing and you can perfect photo grid these are for uh, college or editing or uh, uh, for adding some changes or modifications in images you can do with these apps so i'm not promoting these apps but i am only suggesting so uh, i know about these uh, apps i'm using these apps that's why i'm suggesting this these are very much uh, helpful for image editing and also th for making thumbnails so if uh, if you are creating any youtube video for making thumbnails uh, we can use the pixlab pixlab okay so it is also very much helpful for creating thumbnails youtube thumbnails okay next uh, uh, video editing applications or uh, video editing apps so now uh, nowadays most of the teachers are making the videos in the home and next uh, uh, some mistakes or some something uh, some any disturbances are happening in the video how they are they will modify for the help of uh, modifications i am suggesting here kind master and uh, viva video filmora go power director these are the very good uh, video editing applications they are available freely in the google play store so you can download and you can do the video editing with the help of these apps so kind master most of the pc applications pc features uh, available in the kden live those are present in the kind master okay next uh, video conferencing or online classes tools so nowadays uh, we are doing uh, 
we are teaching through online mode or we are conducting meetings uh, with the help of uh, different uh, apps like uh, Cisco Webex and Go meeting these are very much secured uh, uh, video conferencing apps Cisco Webex and Go meeting and some other apps are also there for uh, online classes or video conferences those are uh, Zoom Google Meet Skype and uh, Blackboard collaborate so these are uh, very much useful for video conferencing and online classes okay next uh, how to create video lessons with mobile most of the teachers are asking me so how to create video lessons with uh, mobile so here two ways are there one is a uh, with a uh, board so uh, like classical method we are uh, keeping one board whiteboard okay okay here what are the requirements are there mobile for shooting video recording or dslr camera so mostly we have mobile for video recording and one white board and uh, four four by three size next uh, board markers for writing on the board and next uh, for tripod stand for mobile we have to use the tripod stand you can see a tripod stand like this we have to keep in the uh, tripod stand one mobile next microphone for uh, uh, microphone is a uh, useful for clear audio capture boya is a preferable uh, microphone uh, mic uh, it is a very much effective uh, mic uh, for audio capture next and another way is uh, with the help of ppt uh, now i am uh, uh, teaching with the help of ppt okay we have to create one ppt and uh, this ppt we have to send to google drive and uh, it needs one app in the mobile that is screen recorder so these three things are the requirement uh, for making video lessons one is the ppt what we want to uh, teach that content is uh, in the powerpoint presentation and next it we have to send to google drive then screen recorder app okay these th three are the requirements here mobile whiteboard black bla board markers tripod stand and microphone so what steps we have to follow for the creation of a video lesson okay first send the ppt to google drive then open screen recorder app and then start recording then open the google drive and open the ppt in the google drive then keep the ppt in a slideshow mode slideshow mode okay okay then the video will capture after the uh, after teaching the lesson we have to stop the video then the uh, we have to uh, trim the video we have to trim the video at the starting and ending okay so uh, that is a, a process of creating video lessons with the help of uh, in two ways that is with the help of board and with the help of ppt next uh, office tools you know microsoft uh, office so microsoft office is a it is a proprietary so proprietary software we have to purchase but uh, instead of uh, microsoft office uh, we have to uh, install alternate that is a libre office or a, uh, in this libre office mostly uh, writer this is for uh, ms word it is a alternative to ms word that is a writer for ms excel that is a calc and uh, next uh, impress impress is a powerpoint presentation so for powerpoint presentation we have to use a uh, libre impress okay so these are the alternate to the ms office these are free uh, and open source softwares and next uh, google also having applications mostly using in education okay so like uh, you know gmail for mailing purpose and google drive for storing data or uh, storing videos or audios or ppt's or documents any kind of data we can uh, store in the drive and documents sheets slides these are uh, you know um, word document excel document and uh, PPTs, PowerPoint presentations, these are uh, 
uh, those are microsoft related we can see uh, we can create in google docs and we can create in sheets and we can create in slides and another thing uh, google drawings are also available in the google uh, application and a blogger we can create some blogs for the uh, for sending the information to our students or uh, our here we can run the one uh, uh, blog means uh, mostly the information storing information storing purpose we can create a blog and uh, youtube youtube we very well know youtube uh, mostly the videos are uploaded in the youtube it is a uh, uh, very much effective this is also uh, part of google and sites we can create uh, websites with the help of sites also and google forms okay for collecting information we can use the google forms and maps are also there google maps and calendar for uh, any events we want to give information about any events we can uh, store the we can save the date and we can save the meetings or online meetings or also we can save in the google calendar and last one finally i am i want to talk about google classroom this google classroom is a virtual classroom this is very much effective for uh, teaching purpose uh, in online most of the students they have the uh, they have the mails mail id so we have to add them uh, their mail id into their class class virtual classroom so with the help of their mail id they will uh, get the class information they will get the video class video lessons or uh, they will get uh, uh, what are the materials we are providing with the google classroom so uh, it is very good uh, application for virtual classroom so nowadays uh, most of the schools are using this google classroom so it is also very good uh, for classroom learning and next uh, mhrd initiatives so mhrd uh, human resource development government of india uh, ict initiatives are there they are very much helpful for learning ict here swayam it is having massive open online courses so we can we can do online courses with the uh, mocks that is a uh, in swayam platform and swayam prabha it is a uh, view digital courses on tv so it is a online it is a tv channel swayam prabha and national digital library so in this uh, many resources many books are present in the national digital library e content so and spoken tutorial you can learn the it application with this tutorial spoken tutorial and uh, e pg paadshala we already discussed pg we already discussed e paadshala but e pg paadshala is having high standard books so all the curriculum related ug pg uh, related books are also available in epg parts hala and uh, shod ganga so it is a reservoir of indian thesis so all the phd thesis are available in shod ganga and each shod sindhu so here all e resources like uh, many uh, thesis many books uh, many publications they are available in e sin e shod sindhu okay so these are uh, these all are available in uh, uh, the information about these all are available in uh, mhrd.gov.in website okay so thank you everyone uh, practice makes man perfect uh, what i have taught in this video you have to practice and if you have any queries please uh, uh, mail me or message me okay thank you for watching